butterfly flies by. The lashes on my eye. I wear a hat piece. I wear a chin piece. I wear a necklace and all blingity jazz. And if you want to see how I created this look, you'll just have to keep on watching as it's getting started right now. Hello my darlings, today I want to do a look with this headpiece that I made yesterday but I know it covers a lot of my forehead. I had in mind doing almost like a tribal tattoo gothic makeup look. I'm gonna use this white pencil to make a line I put it the farthest back, the line comes around there so that I know to wear my makeup maximum makeup or it's lost behind my headpiece. But I wanted to show you what it was like on and how it is when it's on my head and knowing to where I can go. As I showed you before, I have made me a headpiece and with wigs it still comes pretty high or low on my forehead. So where that is gonna hang, dangle or fall, I have put on that white line. And I also made me a chin piece and I'm gonna put a line there too. So now I can take these off. Now, as I just showed you, I want to do a look that has got gothic. It's, it's tribal, like a tattoo, but then all in makeup. And I would like to have it symmetrical. I know that sounds stupid, and it is, but I would love to have a lot of shading in this look. I use this completely. And this is the Jumbo Pencil in Milk by NYX. Something that mostly everyone who does any specific types of makeup has laying around or uses constantly. By the warmth of my hands it's gonna fill up most of my pores, it's gonna be a real nice primer coat, it's gonna do everything. So I'm gonna brighten up my face Always turning it while you have to sharpen this. Okay. I don't have a reference picture. No. Now I'm setting this very lightly with translucent powder. But what I'm gonna do is use um, eyeliner to line out where I wanna have my eye makeup and how I'm gonna try to make something gothic looking but it has to be equal on the same sides and I want to have it a bit tribal. So, and I am trying to do the both sides together instead of completely doing one and then mess up the other. 
And making the strangest faces is normal. Don't worry about that. It's normal. If you would have stencils or stick on tattoos, that is so much more easy. Now I'm looking like a clown while I'm gonna be something totally different. I am showing you what I'm doing because I don't want you to think, oh, she's sticking it on or anything. But it is very time consuming, so I will speed you through this entire drawing. And I will come back to you once I'm absolutely gonna do the eye makeup and the shading of the rest. That's the Gothic travel sign that I just colored in with Screamliner. Now that I have this black, I'm going over to black eyeshadow to set this all and to do a little bit of shading. But I'm starting by setting this. The flat, rounded brush. I am gonna use a gray tone to shade this because otherwise it's not gonna have any use but I'm gonna blend this lower little line here and then I'm gonna do my eye makeup
gonna start with a grey eyeliner on the inner corner and I'm gonna start with this light grey onto this cream to have a grey gradient effect With another one of these fine detail brushes. Now with a flat appliment brush and the same grey, I'm gonna more round this off. Like a cut crease. Love that. Using this color to shade Here I'm dragging the black into the grey. That's what I'm gonna do. There, too. Now I'm gonna shade where my brows should start. Best to your fingers. Now I gotta find a color that is going to be the center color of this look. And I was thinking about purple, but I'm having a little bit of doubt. I'm gonna line my lips with a brownish, reddish color, but I will fill them in with a bit of a nude color. So now that this is all done, I am going to take a very bright pink eyeshadow and a bullet brush and with that I'm gonna set the pencil on top of my eyelid.
I don't know if there's still anything left in this, but I'm gonna try to do my inner tear duct. The line extra on top of this black. I'm gonna use this grey eyeshadow and carefully do my waterline with it. Then I am going to take a lash comb because I want to go through my lower lashes before I put on some mascara. Mascara, especially on the upper lashes, I want to have telescopic mascara because I want it to blend in with my falsies. There, that's that. Now, what I am gonna do is shade here and there with a pink, but this is a little bit too bright, so I'm gonna go more to a soft pink or maybe even a blush. And we don't want to have our lash curler stuck to the lashes. <laughs> 